Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your interview. What did I just say? Hello everybody, how do I say hello? I have to find new ways to say hello all the time. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am gonna show you a tool you may probably not know. Why am I talking like this? I don't freaking know. <laughs> I am sure you guys have heard about Social Blade. Social Blade became so popular because you could pick out a fake fluenza just like this. Can you hear that? Just like this. In between, there was a period of time where Social Blade just stopped working. I don't know why. I think it had like Instagram API issues or something. So then I dug out a website that is far superior and better than Social Blade. And I want to introduce you to it. Now, why do I want to introduce you to it? I don't know. I guess because we're just curious and anxious monkeys. We just want to see how people's profiles perform. And I don't want to like dig dirt on anybody i'm just going to show you my profile because i want to show you how social blade is not as great in comparison to this website this is not a sponsored video whatsoever i personally found it because i tried digging through so many websites because i wanted something super similar to social blade super straightforward not those you know those ig audit those random websites that are there that show you okay fine like this person is super authentic this person isn't when i clearly know that that person is not authentic so anyway let's Let's get right to it. Now this website is called Ninja Lyrics. Can you see it here? Ninja Lyrics. So the website is just ninjalytics.com. You just type the username right here and you just click the search and then you just you enter Aladdin's cave. Okay, I shouldn't have said that. You just enter basically a plethora of information about the influencers. No jokes now, let's just get serious and get right to it. So Naomi underscore De Souza, it shows you how many followers I have, my following, as in the people I'm following, uh, the number of posts, average likes, comments, and views. Now, the engagement rate is 2.67% as per their calculations. Now, if I don't post great posts like the past six posts or probably the past nine posts my engagement rate will drop significantly sig significantly the only reason i think it's close to three percent right now it's because um i've been posting great stuff lately so i think that's why it's pretty good now engagement rate i hope you guys know how to calculate it i'll just put a formula right here but now the engagement rate formula is changing almost every time with new insights instagram is launching every other week or every other month or every other quarter now the shares on each post of mine you can't really see that so sometimes my engagement would be absolute shit I would probably get like two comments or three comments per post but if I see my shares it's like 158 200 and whatnot so if you if you incorporate the shares as well the number of shares within the calculation of your engagement rate mine is soaring high like it's above 12 13 percent which is freaking phenomenal i don't mean to toot my own horn but again i'm only talking about myself i don't want to talk about others because then i don't know this video will just get so much shit anyway let's get to it so now when i scroll down you can see my follower growth my follower growth has been has been i mean pretty smooth as you can see sometimes there are a few jumps that's because i just um i just get featured in some publications or the radio and uh, people just happen to see my page so yeah then that's that but obviously if it's like a huge jump it goes like that and it's like whoop, and then it goes like that so that's obviously alarming so max is like max so it shows you all the way from 2018 so the past two years what my slope is um it even has a super cool feature on seven days so seven days how my growth has been looking like one month and then three months now three months is pretty bad uh that's because 
there was covid and i don't know why during covid i was losing followers i think because i was posting much lesser my page was not that interesting anymore i really don't know but i mean i'm just being transparent like who cares so so yeah like my follower growth has been pretty bad and then like now finally it's picking up again so yeah so that's the follower growth and then as you scroll down this is their app i don't know i haven't downloaded that so then this is my daily growth as well so this is i mean that was basically like a slope graph and this is kind of like a bar graph so it's it's very similar but it's kind of like to your face how many followers i lost how many followers um, i've gained it even gives you the this kind of stuff so weekly and monthly stats so how many followers per month how many following this month and even weekly so i think when there's a substantial jump like tens and thousands of followers per month or per week i think that's when you can think it's a bit fishy then as you scroll down again, it shows you my likes and comments. So basically my likes to comments ratio. By the way, just before I continue, I actually wrote an article on my website that it kind of went viral. It got tens and thousands of views. I think close to 100,000, I'm not even sure. So it's basically 17 ways how you can spot a fake influencer. I'll put the link down there. so if you want to click it like feel free so anyway so this is my likes to comment ratio the best post and it just gives a quick snippet of my page in regards with regards to the post this is pretty cool according to me uh, so the past uh, 30 hashtags that i've used in the past um 12 posts it kind of shows all the hashtags right here so i feel that's pretty nice now this i find very very interesting you know i was thinking about i lost followers i gained followers so this is pretty cool like so these are 25 entries these are 100 entries see so this is how many followers i've just gained and lost so so a few influencers when you just keep scrolling down you'll see plus thousand plus hundred and shit like that So it's it's odd. Like every day, their their influence. So sorry, their following would increase by 30, 40 or so, and then suddenly it just jumps to like 100, 200, or even 300. So sometimes, obviously, like even with me, my followers substantially increase pretty quickly, uh, depending on the features I have. And I think that's with every influencer. But but at times, you will see. A pattern where influencers will just keep buying followers and then that's when we, you know that okay fine something is going on here so over here there's plus to 19 don't be alarmed so over here between 5th to 15 they didn't really tabulate it so that's why it looks like it's a huge jump but anyway you get my point on how this works and then yeah these are just my last 12 posts so so considering they're saying last 12 posts i'm assuming this engagement rate as well as the past 12 posts so i think if you were a pr or if you work in the in the media industry it's always best to um best to see the best performing posts versus just taking the last 12 posts because what if i just want to post something to keep my page active for example like what was happening during covid as well i try my level best but i think people just want to see um, all the lifestyle activities that i'm up to so i think it's always best for prs and um, the media people to check the best performing posts in general um, even with paid apps now this is free so I think this is one of the best free apps obviously the paid apps are far more superior and they show you like far more information you could probably ever imagine so guys hope you like the video hope you enjoy using this tool I found it pretty cool so I just want to kind of put it out there with all the explanations needed uh, for ninja analytics so yeah hope you enjoy the tool don't forget to like comment share and subscribe